For today's grim adventure, we find ourselves in St. Louis, where tonight we're going to be doing something a little extra special, a little extra spooky. You see behind me is the famous Lemp Brewery, where they have the Lemp Haunted House. There's a business park. Parts of it are abandoned. But here's the thing. Legend here in St. Louis says that underneath the Lemp, there are systems of caves. Very few people have been there. Very few people have seen them in person. And tonight, we're taking our cameras down underground in search of some uh, pretty dark and spooky corners. Now, this video is extra special to us because we've been trying to make this video happen for years, trying to get permission to go underground because technically, well, it's not really the safest thing. We had to sign some waivers. We had to do some real convincing to make this happen. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to find, but it should be rather interesting. Like I said, not many people have seen it in person, only stories, only legend. So I am stupidly excited. And this building is kind of making me feel like I'm in some sort of weird, spooky, nightmarish Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. And if going underground to the caves is anything like I'm picturing it, I feel like I'm about to enter the movie The Descent. But this is cool. Now here's the thing. In order for us to make this happen, we had to promise that we would come with proper footwear because there's gonna be some treacherous terrain. Everything is in pitch black. I'm talking no lights whatsoever. And we had to come with some pretty heavy duty lighting. So there's no power down there. It's all complete black. <sighs> Not entirely sure what to expect, but we have these pretty high powered headlamps and some flashlights we're gonna be taking down in the dark with us. The scariest part about this, nobody's been down there in years. And if for some reason all of our lights fail, there's no getting out. Now here's the real kicker. Everybody here in St. Louis knows about the caves and some even say they know where they are and others have said that they've been down there. There's the Lemp Mansion and then there's this building that's behind me, this entire business park, if you will. The Lemp haunted house. If you've been through it, hear me out. There is a part in the house, there's a secret door that if you know where it's at, you can go down these series of steps that go down to the caves. And then you'll find another set of steps that go down even further. And another set of steps that go down even further. We know where they're at. Well, we know where they're at because the people who own this place have told us and they're the ones that are taking us down. This is exciting. Kind of scary, but exciting. Wherever I come, I've had luck. Just come to my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a come in my way. So these are our crazy outfits for the night. Go ahead and show me your light. We got a loom cube right here, and then I have a headlamp. I'm gonna go ahead and kick it on. Where is it at? A couple different lights. Down into the pitch black darkness we go. So we are already down a couple flights of stairs, and we didn't wanna show where the entry point to this place was, because we don't want people who don't have permission to come down here. But now that we're kinda underground, and only going deeper, this is a great spot for that. Now, I'm trying not to linger too much because our guide is taking us deeper. Are you okay with being on camera? I should ask. Okay. All right. Get through here, lock your head. There's a pipe up here. Don't knock your head off. Get caught on something. Okay. Now this is Larry. He's the owner of the darkness and the limp haunted house. Now we're not gonna tell people where inside the haunted house the entrance to this part of the cave is, but right behind this door is the haunted house, correct? That is correct. So you're kind of sort of on the same level as the haunted house. Okay. And what we're about to do is go way below it. Cool, cool. All right. 
You got your flashlight, baby ghoul? You want to see something cool? Yeah. Watch out for the water. I got a little bit of bleep going on. It's all right. Mike, look at this. These were like literally one inch thick pipes. So I'm coming down. Oh, wow. So I did not expect this. And it's neat because in my headlamp, I can see like all the dust particles. Oh, look at the ceiling. Look at that. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. There's more. Oh, wow. So you're standing in a portion of the swimming pool right now. So I've heard about this swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're staying in a portion of it right now. It runs from here to over there where we stuff down. Runs along this wall, goes back around over there where the light. So, goes. baby ghoul, mm -hmm. you are in that portion of the swimming pool that we were just talking about. And when you stand up here, you really can see that. Yeah, because this is the edge. So it kind of tells it takes like a round, smooth edge. Right. You can come over here, because this is pretty cool up here. But just don't step on any of this over there. But if you look up in there, it looks like the movie Aliens, you know, uh, something that they would build. Yeah. Oh gosh, right? Okay. I wouldn't step on the wood that there's a trench with a break through. Wow, that is wild. Yeah. I could so see them making an alien movie down here. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, just be careful. I do feel like I'm in the movie Descent. Or as above, so below. Yeah. <laughs> so at one point, this was called Cherokee Caves. Was that, that was the name of it? That was back there. That was this, back there. This is the Lemp Cave. The Lemp Cave itself. Okay. Here's the theater area and such. Aww. So there's the, back there is the stairs that went up to the street level. I could even show you on the street where that's at. But this was the stage that was all the Swiss Alps here. And it's rusted and collapsed. So, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but right where Larry's at, this is the backside, it's a, an entrance, it would go up to street level there, but right where I'm standing, this is where the old Lemp stage was, all this rubble here, and What's kind of cool is if I turn the camera this way back to the door, you can see baby girl and our guy there. You can see the, the lights. They would have lights there facing the stage, so they would perform over here. This is wild. Muddy as all can be, right? So, so all this will stood up. Okay. You're saying that's a what? That's a stage. It's a stage. Mm -hmm. um, that was all the way up to the ceiling, plaster and lath, and it's rusted and collapsed now, but painted on it was like the Swiss Alps. And you kind of see like they tried to paint the sky on the ceiling blue. Mm -hmm. This was lights that would have shown at the stage and the actors doing their thing over there. So the webs and their guests would be sitting right here watching a show. Is that from the lumps too? That the shaft that light there? up there? That tin? Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah, they had electric before the rest of the city had electric. And then that spiral staircase there, that was on the property on the other side of Cherokee Street, and that's where actors or lumps would go up and down. Because I've always heard that Lump never 
entered the property from the street. He always came through like the cave or something like that. Can't tell you where I heard that, but. So we turned around from the stage and we're looking at the swimming pool again. And our guide was just pointing out these little, it was like remnants of looks like a, like a bridge at one point that would stretch out into the swimming pool. It's pretty wild that that's still standing there. I mean, there's, if you look, if you know where to look, there's, there's, you know, pieces of the past here. This is insane. So you guys are doing some work over here, yes? I mean, I got the lights coming down. I had to build this because the scaffolding. we'd be walking on that OSB there and it's slick and it rounds. So it's like people want to slide off into the water. Yeah. And then there was some boards here. They're still underneath there, but they were broken. So I'm like, I got this ladder thing. Just buy some wood, come down here and do this up. And now it's a hell of a bunch safer to walk on. So what's back there? I mean, we're not going to go back there, but I see it looks like there's... That's, that's getting into the Cherokee cave. That's crazy. I mean, right here, all this that yeah. we're doing, this is the Lump Cave. Lee Hess, the guy that had the Cherokee cave, excavating, doing whatever he and he busted through into the lump cave. So the International Shoe Company owned the property and Shashi said that the, the door was just locked. Shoe Company never came down here. So he's doing his thing, just backfilling all this rubble and crap in here. And uh, he could never use this because it's not his property, but that's, that's everything over there. He was just using this kind of like a dumping ground. Pretty wild. Some stuff. See, here's the piers again. Oh yeah, there's like a little That's pylons there. A bridge, somewhat like I've got going on here, and then went over that way to that chamber, so that way you're walking above the pool area. So we're going that way next. Yeah. All right, after you, baby girl, I'll pick up the the, uh, the behind here. I can so see like somebody filming some horror movie down here. I feel like I'm in a horror movie, like I'm gonna be attacked by vampires or something. <laughs> right? That's all mud. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna lose a shoe. Then you got water over here. You guys weren't kidding whenever you said brings adequate lighting, because if we didn't have any lights, we'd be screwed down here. Yeah. Oh, it's pitch black. It's pitch black. What do you think of it? So. You're looking straight up. What's that? It's kind of creek. Uh, I want to say this is in between building two and building three. And Cherokee is along here. Look at that. Guess what? What's that? I've been blessed by cave water. You, did you get it on the forehead? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I, I have to ask you, I'm going to ask you this, because Jessica talks about this all the time, and Larry talks about it. Yeah. So are you from St. Louis? Yeah. So the legends and lore of these caves, mm -hmm. they seem like people always want to like, see them. Yeah. People heard about them, but it's like nobody, it's kind of like a, like a, you know, a deep legend, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, everybody's heard about it, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you've lived here long enough or born and raised here, then yeah, I'm sure you've heard about it. And just getting here to see it, I mean, if you can or can. At yeah. this point, you can't unless you get permission from the owners and such. But, yeah. So the first time you ever been, walked down here and saw it, like, did your jaw hit the ground and go, holy hell, they're real? Yeah, it's <laughs> like, what, you know, what, what do you expect? Never seen it before. It's like, okay, yeah, here's that pool that I've heard about. Here's this theater and this stage that I've heard about. It's like, you're actually seeing it now. Yeah. Instead of just hearing about it, it's like, okay, this is pretty damn cool. What about you? Growing up, hearing about this place. I mean, you're from St. Louis. I'm from here. And 
I once read on a spelunking, um, back then it wasn't Reddit because it didn't exist yet, but on a page for people who were into spelunking here in Missouri, there was a rumor that you could access these tunnels through one of the sewers downtown, but no one ever confirmed it. It was like a wild running rumor for the longest time. Hey, if you go to like 7th Street or 4th Street, and if you climb down into one of the sewers, because they are massive here, that you'd be able to access the tunnels. And I think I can actually say that is false. It's 100% wrong. 100% false. You will not be able to access these tunnels through the sewer. And what about you, Larry? Don't look directly into the camera because you got a light. But what about you and the legends of, of these caves, like seeing them? Well, the first time that I saw them was when we first started building the haunt. And we came down here. And at my, I remember seeing uh, an albino frog in the pool. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, a completely white lack of pigment frog. And it was in the pool. Yeah. And I was like, that's wild. And I remember even saying, I had my kids with me. And my kids came down here and they're like, oh my God, it's a frog and it's white because there's no light here. Yeah. You literally would be lost. No one would ever be able to find you if you didn't have light and to know where you're going. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I think we got more to see. <laughs> this is like your bat cave baby goal. There's another little look up area. Oh my god, it's got hit with water. <laughs> You've been blessed. So this is in the basement of a building three. Oh. Cherokee is outside this wall over here. That's something serious up there. Yeah. Well, I've had people try to get into it and stuff, so I've had to sense secure it so it can't be gotten into. Which is kind of a bummer because it'd be kind of cool to pop it open every now and again. But that's a square lid, and if somebody drops that thing down here, there's no getting it back out of here up to there. You have to remember, it used to be a tourist attraction as well. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons we love doing this YouTube channel is because we walk history, like right. literally walk history. And I can't believe that we're doing this right now. Like I'm geeking out. <laughs> well, get up here and show you these albino shrimp. Wait, what? <laughs> Trying to circumvent the mud. Moving along the wall, the albino shrimp. So there is life down here. That's about it. I've seen an albino frog down here. Have you? Oh, they're so small. Now, what is this thing exactly? Right, like where does that go? I couldn't tell you. I'd love to get a camera, like a sewer camera, and put in there and go up onto the ground and try to locate it. Right, put like a, a GoPro on a... Uh, an yeah. RC boat <laughs> right. and just send it up in there. Right. Oh, this is coming from somewhere on the property. This is running and going back in the direction for the pool, I would say. Yeah, it does. Oh, there you go. But the crazy thing right. is, I mean, this is all stone up here, so somebody had to be laying on their belly, or this has got to be a couple down feet in there. deep or something. Oh, it's... oh, I still see them. You still see them? Is there more back there? No, I really think that in. Just a little bit around this rock pile here. It looks like it curves and goes This back. is all fill. I just want to say they had another building here because they the owners had some uh, cave splunkers. Can't like really go much Is further than this. Anything creepy happening here? Uh, 
because it's kind of like it's not caved in it's just all like pushed in like an old yeah. old building like you were saying yeah but it's it goes from the ground all the way up to the ceiling i can go this far without like where i touch my head yeah, look you're finally tall mm -hmm. <laughs> And it just goes up around this pile just a little bit back over to there and then it can we leaves. we can go up yeah, just go watch up. our head yeah. watch your head watch your feet oh, that's pretty wild cool. i love how quiet it is down here too that's what I was thinking. I was about to say that. You having fun? This is crazy, right? I'm having the best time. I had to show my face because I've been showing everybody else, but this is proof that I'm down here as well. I've had that headlamp on the entire time, but it's me. The, the voice behind the camera. Is it just me, or do you guys also feel like you're in the movie The Goonies right now? Oh, we can walk back there a little bit? So that little area that we were talking about earlier with the, the Cherokee Caves, when they connect to the Lemp Caves, that's where we're heading now. I feel like this is like more uncharted territory. Since I'm the only person here on this side, let me go ahead and do a a quick look around because there's nobody behind me. Oh yeah. So it gets a lot drier. Oh man, that's crazy. You can see like the machine marks here. Yeah. I can hear them talking. They're up there pretty far. Did you ever think in a million years that you'd ever see this? No. What do we got here? Oh, this is kind of cool back here. Wait till you guys see this. There's actually steps right here. Gotta be very careful because everything's so slick. I'm gonna raise the camera up. It goes back much further. There's some things back there that we really can't get to. Waterfall, and it wraps around to the pool. I think they were saying they were ahead of us while they were, while they were talking. But this is beautiful. I put the camera down and look over this way. Now, if we lean out a little bit over top this little little ravine here, you can see right about there, there's the old railings there. That's part of the old attraction. Again, something hidden, hidden history, if you will. 
I know watching this video, somebody's gonna say, well, why didn't you go down there and walk up the steps and go further? Well, there's a portion of this cave that if we went any further, we, we would be wading in water. So we're not gonna do that. We're just kind of sticking to the main path for safety reasons. But just this, I mean, this is phenomenal. Wow. I really can't believe that we're down here doing this. It's pretty wild, like if you sit still long enough, you can hear water dripping so far away. I'm trying to pinpoint the light down there. This is blowing my mind. <laughs> It's so massive. Definitely one of the coolest things that we have ever done. Just a little bit of local history, but being down here, just wow. You guys, all three of you look so small right now, right? Just making some discoveries down here. We're just pointing this out. I don't know if you guys can read it, but it says Jim, or somebody was here in 1954, 1964, somewhere around there. We're not gonna leave our mark, we never do. It's just see, capture, document, and just keep moving on. This obviously used to be an arch. Yeah, there used to be a wall across here. Yeah. Oh, it take some light off. Probably to keep the heat in. So right now we're standing on the other side of the pool. You can see the water here and then the wall. It keeps going back that way. The part behind you on the ceiling does not look a little demonic like we've seen in movies because of the... Uh, Black veins creeping through an old house that's been haunted or possessed. What she's talking about is what you see on the ceiling there. It kind of looks like something out of Stranger Things, right? And I tell you what, if we find a portal to hell down here. <laughs> dun dun. Dun dun. You can feel it starting to get a little cooler again over here. Oh. Michael, you know what this reminds me of? What's that? What does this remind you of, Larry? Frankenstein versus Wolfman. Remember because they broke the dam and Frankenstein and Wolfman were uh, in that rubbled castle with wood and burned wood and just stones everywhere. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Right, like you just burst through the door. Exactly, and Frankenstein's down here frozen. And remember, the uh, Larry Talbot running around, you know? Yeah. And you get Frankenstein out of the castle. That's what it looks like, all with all the wood, debris everywhere, mixed with stone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was really, really cool. And we still have more to see. Right? Knock the mud off your shoes. <laughs> so right now we're heading down to this very ominous door. That's my shadow. Look, I'm in the video.
So you're saying you can open the door, but we can't really go yeah. into it. Oh. So we're beneath the haunt. Yes. Well beneath the haunt. One layer, one story. You are the key master. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to. It's the echo. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting this. So how deep have you been? Down here. Down here? This is like this the, is the lowest. This is the lowest. Run into any vampires? No. Okay. Look at that <laughs> creepy. Other than in his dragon. face. Now, doesn't that look like a Dracula castle staircase? Mm hmm Look up and now it's arched. Man, look behind you over here. <laughs> you have another little nook over there. And what was that for? There are little things all over the place here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. There are things all over the place here. It's the shadow of my camera I got the headlamp on. Look through those three pipes and you're looking into the haunted house over here. That's concrete. So same here. You see that one? Concrete? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is the way they put boards on it to support it until the concrete is set. Yeah, once you get down here to this, there's like three caverns goes that way, and three caverns goes this way. Is that to the side of where the haunted house is? Yeah. Creepy girl. If we, go, if we went all the way right that way, we'd dead end into Cherokee. That's so cool. That's cool. <laughs> So wild. So, so wild. All right, that echo was pretty uh, intense. That was the door shutting. <laughs> oh, heck yeah, I'd live in here. Sleep in a casket in here? Heck yeah, I'd sleep in a casket here. Isn't this where you would expect to find Bela Lugosi's as, you know, Dracula's coffin? Heck yeah, I'd expect to find Bela Lugosi as Dracula in here. Right, this wasn't doing this before when we first walked in, did it? The lights are uh, being a little, uh, a little strange with us right now. I love this room. This is really cool to see. Right? Standing here in the middle of the room, we were just admiring how massive these stones are. I mean, look at these boulders in the wall. That's, that's insane. So we have this building right here and we're going to attempt to get to the top of it. Again, we have permission. Do not come here and try to do this without permission from the owners, but there is a spiral staircase that goes all the way to the top to kind of like a greenhouse. So this is the last bit of our journey tonight, and it's going to be a big one. Jessica's sitting out because she has a hard time with steps, but we are going to attempt it. So we are now on the inside and look at this staircase. 
That's insane. That's insane. Look how far that goes up. That's insane. I'm standing at the bottom looking straight up. Oh, we got this. We got this. So this is the first landing, and it looks very similar to the one on the bottom, the first floor. So we got quite a bit to go, but we got to get to the top. Oh you all right, Larry? Yeah. I don't know about <laughs> So the silos on the outside of the building, what were they? Like, what, 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 what filled them? Oh, barley out, that's right, because lemp, the brewery, beer. Yeah. Stopping to catch our breath whenever we can. Each floor that we're stepping on, like right now, this is the second one, it's like two stories up. And it doesn't seem like it'd be that crazy, but trust me, it's a doozy. So this is the third landing, and we can't walk out on the floor because as you can see, it's pretty weathered. Don't want to fall through, but taking each of these moments to just kind of stop and catch our breath, but wow. About halfway, about halfway, we're getting there. Would you look at that? We found a casualty. Larry, be careful. Yes. There's a bird here. It's I dead. Almost there, but look at this. Oh God. So you just opened a door. Can we walk out there? Carefully. There's bird crap everywhere. Stay close to the, to, the, to the wall here, Larry. So right now, we're on top of the silos. Oh my word. So I'm gonna put a picture right now of the, the silos that, you, that we were showing at the earlier part of the, the video. I'm, I'm like losing my, my speech here, I'm like nervous. So the round areas of the silos, we're on top of those right now. And then there's the name Lemp. Right there on that side, and then over here. Okay. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever done. Talk about walking history. Talk about climbing history. Honestly, I never really get nervous from heights, but standing there knowing where I was and not expecting that, that was uh, completely caught me off guard. That was, my knees were shaking. I, could, I lost my words. I'm still trying to regain composure. It's beautiful in here, beyond beautiful, really. You would think that we are at the highest point, but we can actually go higher. And right now I'm walking on a bunch of pigeon crap and I see some pigeon carcasses. But this ladder here, the staircase, it goes up. Oh man, we can even go higher. So if we walk up there, are we turning the bend and going up higher? Yeah. F me. But we made it this far, so we gotta do it. We, we have to. Like, Larry, yes. we're going higher. I know. I'm a little, uh, I'm afraid of heights. I was not expecting to turn around and see the name Lemp on the building. I wasn't either. And you think about it, that's been there for like 120, 130 years. Crazy. Very. It seems so wrong that we're walking up this. But here we go. Very slow. Got the cameras, got the headlamps. Oh, turning the corner here. Uh, 
Oh man. The green grinders. It's wild to see, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, this is <clears throat> really anything to do with beer that's still here. This is it. Gosh, high above St. Louis, too. Mm -hmm. Like preserved. And of course, Larry's phone goes off and it's the Halloween theme song. Are you guys ready for this? I'm going to point the camera straight up. Look at that. The glass. That you can see from the road. Right? You can see that, that glass from the road. That's why they call it the greenhouse, really. Yeah. And what are these things? Grain grinders. Grain grinders that have probably been here for 150 years. Yeah. Man. I'm not going any further than where I am right now. There's I our, see giant holes in the floor. There's our ladder. I mean, that's, like I said, that's. Oh, yeah. What does that go to? It goes to the perimeter of the roof up here. So you can walk around the perimeter. Yeah. So believe it or not, we still are not at the highest point of Lemp. Like there's this ladder right here. It goes up to this hole and we're not going up there. Anybody have any idea about how high we are? An uh, estimate? I think we're like 12 stories. 12, geez, freaking Louise. 11, 12 stories. Well worth it, well worth it. Again, that glass is just something else seeing that right here. I mean, how many people have always wanted to be standing here? And you know what? It's, it would be really cool if they start filming movies or TV shows and we're able to figure out a way to use this property for all that and then just showcase this. I mean, it's beautiful. There's nothing like it. Trust me, we've been all over the country, all over the world, and standing here, it's, it's blowing my mind. Here's looking down the steps. We just came up. We got to go back down these, then all the way down. Then all the way back down the spiral staircase. We have to be very, very careful because there are holes in the floor. But this is behind the grain grinders. And at one point, it's something they've been battling, but they've had pigeons and birds flying up here. And that's why you see all the stuff everywhere. But here's another. Hey, Larry, you should pick this up and you should put this in your haunted house, like official lemp carcass. Just saying. Holy shit, it's scary up here. Yeah, just watch your step. It just makes you wonder, like, when the last time this turned. Yeah. yeah. And who was up here turning it? Where'd all the rest of the stuff go? There had to be more stuff in here than just what we If anybody ever wanted to know how in 1870 that they grind up, ground up the wheat, now you know. It's right here. This might be the only one in the world that exists. So here's a question for you. You have a haunted house here on property. Yes. You know, I mean, you, you've built this, this attraction that people come, and it's well known in the area. Walking through this, does it give you a, like a whole new like level of respect for, for like the history of St. Louis? Yeah, it makes you want to like go look for like old black and white photos and try to like place people. Right. Um, research, like you, you can see what company made it. It's still, I saw the name Eureka. Yeah, and it's got other stuff on the wall here. It says uh, R-I- RG. I mean, like you would want to go, oh yeah, here's the company. And it tells you what year it is. Right here, there's a sign. It's stamped on there. Look at that. I see, you can see Silver that. Creek. Oh, it has a date. 
Pretty neat, pretty neat. Moly. So we are back outside. And again, that little area that we're standing outside above the silos, that's right over here, the silos. And then we looked up and we saw the name Lemp. There it is. Pretty wild. Now let's go find Jessica. From what I know, supposedly she took the caretaker's keys. So she's probably running amok somewhere. We're gonna go find her, I'm just kidding. We know where she's at, but she still has the keys. What do you got there, baby ghoul? You have the keys to this place? Well, don't you know, you were always the caretaker? With that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time into a very, very strange place. Happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I'm in luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.